In this tutorial I am going to show you how you can use a custom font you used in your visual attributed string project in an iOS application. Let's create a new project in visual attributed string. I am going to create some title text that uses a font I know is not available in the iOS SDK. I'm going to change the font size. Center the text, and change the text color. Let's add a bit of stroke. Now I'll add a shadow to make the text stand out better. OK. Now let's begin. I'm going to generate the code for this document now. You'll notice that this little yellow triangle is warning me. We can click it to read the warning message. Basically, Visual Attributed String is warning me that this document is using a custom font not available in the iOS SDK. I'm going to copy the code to the clipboard by hitting Command C. Now we have the code. I have a simple Xcode project set up for the iPad which displays a UI text view. Let's go to the Xcode project. Paste the code. We will set the text views attributed text property to the attributed string visual attributed string generated for us. When we run the Xcode project, it is going to crash. Watch. It crashed because we did not add the font as a resource to the Xcode project. So let's add the font now. We are going to open the Fontbook application. Now I'm looking for that custom font. There it is. I'm just going to right click and select Show in Finder. Now I'm going to take the font file and drag it into my Xcode project. Here I make sure I add the font file to the target. Now let's go to the info.plist file in the Xcode project. We have to add an entry to the info.plist. Here we add the fonts provided by application array entry. Now we just add our font file name as an item in the array. I typed in some more text in our document, so I'm just going to regenerate the code and update our project. Now let's run the application again. This time, we should not get a crash. There it is. You can see, it works perfectly now. The custom font is displaying nicely. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. Visual Attributed String is available now on the Mac App Store.